the nodal connection should be there for an eclipse to happen. Only when the um, Rahu and Ketu, one of them are joining with the sun and the moon, the eclipses can happen. So that is a precondition. Nodal position is a precondition for an eclipse. And it takes 18 years for these nodes to come back to the same position. That is, at the end of 18 years, they come back to the same position. At the time of Kali Yuga, they were in Pisces and Virgo. After 18 years, they come back here. And after 36 years, they come back here. The same way you can check for the previous years also. 36th year before the Kali Yuga, Mahabharata war had happened. That means, at that time also, the nodal axis must have been here. Maybe little close to the beginning of Aries or at the end of Aquarius. But not beyond. It could not be away from this axis. That is what we understand from the basics, the fundamentals. But what do people think? People have been interpreting a few verses in Mahabharata to raise two incorrigible ideas. The first one is that the eclipses had occurred in the month of Kartika at the time of or before the Mahabharata war happened. In which case the nodal axis will be here like this connecting Taurus and Scorpio. This is impossible given the fact that the Kali Yuga started in this axis in 3101 BCE. Even without looking at the text or knowing what the verses have said, we can rule out the possibility of an eclipse happening here. Now, examining the verses, it shows that it is about the combination or the conjunction of sun and the moon and not about an eclipse. The verse only says the sun and the moon have catch, have caught up with each other. That's all. So, this possibility of a nodal axis here is impossible. With the fundamental knowledge, we can say this uh, the Mahabharata text doesn't talk about an eclipse at that time. The second incorrigible statement is that the eclipses have occurred within a gap of 13 days. That is 13 day eclipses. The two, two such eclipses have happened. Leave of the eclipses. You take up Amavasya and Purnami. Can Amavasya and Purnami happen on the 13th day? In the text, Vyasa clearly says that he had seen Amavasya happening on Chaturdashi or Panchadashi and not on Triodashi. So he is referring to the Tithi, not to the Savana day or to the Nakshatra day. A Tithi means it is a duration of 12 degrees covered by the moon in its orbit of 360 degrees and it has 30 faces, 30 tithis that is 360 divided by 30 gives 12 degree that is the duration of one tithi of which 15 tithis are in the waxing phase and 15 on the waning phase 180 degrees one way and 180 degrees another way totally. So any drop in this can happen up a level of at least 12 degrees and not more because of some oscillation or change in the eccentricity of the orbit that's all but not more than that now explaining this i am showing here the tithi division the each segment is a tithi and the amavasya had occurred on the 15th day soon after amavasya was over the next tithi starts that 12 degree duration of prathama starts and from that, counted from that, on the 15th day, the Pournami or the full moon occurs. What Vyasa had said was, he had seen the Amavasya happening on Chaturdashi. Possible. Even now it happens. Starting from the 14th day itself, but it will be going up to the 15th day. Within the beginning of the 15th day, it will come into that. So on the 14th day, the Chaturdashi Amavasya can happen. And even on the 15th day, that is starting from the 15th day, the segment of the 15th day it can go up to the next one, in which case it will be the 16th day, not Pradama. Only in this case, you will be seeing a delay in the sighting of the crescent moon. And sometimes in the um, Muslim community, we will be coming across uh, uh, these confusions, whether the crescent moon was sighted or not. 
those confusions arise when the amavasya is happening late like this starting from 15th to 16th from 14th to 15th it didn't happen so 15th chadurth the, the connection should be there and then from 15th to 16th it can happen even then the 15th connection should be there but what he saw was 13th day that is the amavasya happening in trayodashi tithi which means the amavasya started within the segment of the trayodashi and ended within that or after the beginning of the 14th tithi no connection with 15th tithi that means nearly 12 degrees were lost how can that happen in nature so just by reading that an illumination happened on 13th day or trayodashi one should immediately understand that either there is something wrong with the verse the verse was wrongly written or something had gone wrong with the moon here vyasa had clearly stated so nothing wrong with the verse so something had gone wrong with the uh, moon without realizing this our people are taking it up the 13th day amavasya 13th day purnami and also as eclipses now what vyasa had done he started watching anxiously the upcoming phase because the unnatural thing had happened so what went wrong with the moon he was watching every day the moon's growth and even at that time the moon ended up with a full moon on the 13th day once again in the same plan in the same star where it became full moon in the previous month that is in two consecutive months the purnami had happened on the same nakshatra which is impossible to happen you can see the loss of four tithis there so this means moon's path got shortened this can happen only if something had hit the moon thereby just toppling it or just shaking it from the equilibrium so a comet had fallen on the moon on a pushya day and the fragments of the comet had fallen on the earth also on the same day and the entire uh, this bharata tribe was uh, were looking at the sky karna vyasa even driyodana everyone were worried about uh, the happening some some change some vis- vitiation has happened in the nature they were watching the moon they were watching the sky only in that in the context they have seen arundhati shaking her moving away from her place and uh, the dhruva nakshatra moving away from its place unusually uh, the mars also moving away its place in an unusual way and two planets rising with red top and not with blue top which is normal to happen rising with the red crest is abnormal to happen these things were noticed within a short period of time when the comet had fallen on the moon mainly and most of the fragments falling on earth also thus a very big secret of a comet fall on the moon is enshrined or just lying there to pick out from mahabharata but alas we are not at all aware of it why we don't know the fundamentals we never understand that a lunation or amavasya cannot take place on a 13th day based on this people keep on saying even at the time of kali yuga that is when krishna exited from the world even at that time there was a 13th lunation no the text doesn't say the text only says that krishna thought about the natural calamities at the time of uh, uh, mahabharata when the 13th day lunation happened it doesn't say that 13th day lunation happened again if it had happened again that means once again something went wrong with the moon at the time of kali yuga but nothing of that kind had happened at that time so the understanding the fundamentals is a very essential if you know that you can read the mind of the rishi you can read the secrets enshrined in the text and one of the secrets we have done here we have we have deciphered here which i have written in my book also and in the next episode on manmantras also a similar kind of asteroid or cometary fall on the moon uh, i will be revealing in the next episode